Greetings, kings of kings and lords of lords. Oh wait, I almost forgot. This is a classroom, not Olympus. <laughs> and swallowing her while she's pregnant with me for listening to the prophecy when he was told he had a child more powerful than him. <sighs> Men. Anyways, I'm the most courageous and resourceful of the Olympian gods, a female deity of intelligence and reason. I'm the defender of cities and the protectors of heroes. I can also shapeshift into any animal or person of my choosing. I know I'm talking about myself a lot, but it'll end soon. I just can't get over how great I am. Now, I'm normally not emotional or compassionate, but I do have my favorites. For example, Odysseus, the legendary Greek king of Ithaca. <laughs> he has strength, nobility, courage, a thirst for glory, and more. He's also a cheater, a man who put his men through hell, cursed by Poseidon, God, cursed by Poseidon for blinding his son Polyphemus, Stubborn, selfish, and overprideful. Lying? Still a good. Right. Still a good man, though. When he was trapped with Pluto, <laughs> my heart began to fade. This is the second time he has taken a woman to bed. And when it came to Calypso, he could have stopped it. It wasn't like it was some sort of spell or something to keep him from having a good time. And then he had the nerve to cry about his wife. And who can forget about Circe? She gave his men something to drink and turned them into animals. <laughs> if it wasn't for Odysseus coming to save them, they would have been there forever. Actually, they ended up being there for five years. It only felt like five days. Circe can make the time change as fast as she wants in the palace. Like I said, she's still a pretty good guy. I also favor his son, Telemachus. He has the exact same traits as his father, besides the cheating and stuff. He is a little stubborn though. I helped him on his journey to find his father. <coughs> I knew where Odysseus was the whole time, considering that I was helping them both to get to each other. I just needed to find and buy Odysseus a little more time to get home for it before allowing Odysseus to reveal himself to his son and wife. Like Wild Telemachus. While Telemachus was gone, I also cared for his mother, Penelope, who was gone with her sorrow while her husband and her son, Telemachus, were gone without any of his whereabouts. I also stopped Telemachus from being killed by the men waiting for him on his way back, sent by the suitors, just to get him out of the way from one of them marrying his gorgeous mother. They want her for two reasons. She's beautiful and she's a queen. No wonder she was so powerful. But not just any queen, though. The queen of Odysseus himself. Who wouldn't want that? Why? Uh, for heaven's sake. For heaven's sake. If I was one of the suitors, I plan mischief to marry her myself. Why? Penelope would have. Penelope would have <laughs> had more time to hold off the suitors if it wasn't for her desperate maid. What? I'm sure she's fiddled with all the suitors in Odysseus' house. Sadly, she perished as well due to being hung, which is one of the most humiliating ways to die back then. She got what she deserved, especially when she got smart with Odysseus while he was disguised as an old man. Back on Odysseus, he's a good fighter as well. Did you see the way he handled Iris just for getting big and bad on him for begging the way he was? Or when him and his son Telemachus killed all the suitors in his house for being highly unpleasant and sleeping with all the maids. But the best part is when Odysseus, Telemachus, and Penelope reunited after 20 years. 
first, and it was only supposed to be a few months. I just love how careful Telemachus was when he was told the old man disguised was actually his father, or when Penelope made Odysseus move their entirely heavy bed just to prove that it was Odysseus. He was enraged at first, but it did get done. Lie. On the way to Ithaca. On the way to Ithaca, Odysseus did have some terrible hardships. Goggle eyes was on them. Goggle eyes was a cyclops and the son of Poseidon. Odysseus and his men crashed at his place, ate some of his food, and stayed there until he arrived. Cyclops got so comfortable that he ate some of Odysseus' men and promised that if he ate Odysseus' last, everything would be fine. But Odysseus had a plan. He grabbed a wind stick bigger than all of the men combined, heated the tip, and stabbed his hideous eye. He was also smart and said his name was No Man so that no one would know his name. But of course, Odysseus was being foolish and said his name as he was sailing away and was punished constantly by Poseidon. He nearly died in the ocean, but Poseidon wanted him to suffer. I believe that is all you need to know about me, my life, and my whereabouts with Odysseus. Farewell to you and your relations, and know that I will be watching you. So don't be foolish. After all I've told you, you shouldn't be afraid.